Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm here again today with a Mating West unbagging and this is for the month of January. Um, my shipments are just coming at the end of the month now so just be looking for them then. It's just the way it rotates because it's an, it's an every four week subscription so sometimes it kind of shifts a few times through the year. But this is for the month of January and I've just really been impressed with my last few shipments. Like, they're just kind of adding new elements to our shipments, like, you know, accessories and stuff like that, and belts and stuff. I've just seen so many little sneak peeks of what they're going to be including, and I'm just really excited with where Nadine West is going. I feel like they're really improving as a company and really listening to their customers, and I just really love the direction it's going. Also in this video, towards the end, I'm going to be sharing a few little tips and tricks on how to get the best Nadine West experience, in my opinion, what has worked for me. And I'm also going to be showing you how I have my style quiz profile set because I've had a couple of people say we really like the things you get and I'd kind of like to know what you um, have everything set as and um, I'll show you that towards the end. But anyway, let's get into seeing what we got for this month. Alright, we got our little return bag and our slip with all our prices and our return label on it. So make sure you don't you lose that. And then let's see our first little goodness here. If you hear background noises, my cat, Ninja, is losing his mind right now. So, <laughs> you may hear him playing in the background. But, alright, let's see what we got. Ooh, I like these. These are some athletic pants. And they have a flare towards the end. Got that little symbol on the back. And this is the brand BSP Better Sports Performance. And they've got a lot of stretch to them. And it's, oh, it says it even has a media pocket somewhere. Let's see where that is. Is it on the inside? Uh, maybe we'll find it whenever we try it on because I don't see it right now. Yeah, maybe when we try it on, we'll find it. But I really love the material and I was needing, I just, and started exercising again. I took a long break, but uh, um, I just realized it wasn't good for me, so I started back exercising, so I was needing some more things like this, so I'm excited to try those on and see if they work. And then we got, is this a dress? Oh, I love this. Let's move this chair out of the way. Got this dress. It hits right above the knee. It's got this little ruffled, sleeve at the end and it's by the brand You and Me. I like it. It's kind of got a like a sheer overlay over the fabric and it's got this cute little neckline. So I like that. I think that's going to work and you could really do a bunch of different things with that since it's just a basic color. Alright and then we've got oh these are pants? No way. I love those. Oh my goodness, they're just um, loose fitting style and they've got this really pretty, it's kind of like a mix between a floral and a paisley design on it and then it's got a, it's got a stretchy back so it has a good comfortable fit and then the tie in the front. Oh, I'm excited about those. Oh my goodness. All right, and then we got a piece of jewelry here. So let's see what we got here. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at this. It's like a silver bracelet, and it's just got all these little, like, links to it. And it's just kind of lightweight. It's got, it looks like it has a lot of weight from it, to it from afar, but like, it really doesn't. It's really lightweight. So that's going to be really comfortable to wear. And it's super cute. I love that. Alright. So far so good. Let's see what is up next. Alright. And up next we have... Is that top? Oh yeah. I 
it's a top. It's from from the brand List Listeel. Listicle, listicle, and it's a gray top. It's kind of got like that poncho look to it. It has the oversized sleeve here, and then it crisscrosses in the front. And that'll go really good with some leggings, like a really good comfy fit. If you're just wanting something comfy but cute at the same time, I like that. And it's a good basic color as well, so it'll go with a lot of stuff. And then our last piece that we've got, ooh, this is so cute. A black long sleeve top, and it's got these. Ties that go all the way up the sleeve to give it kind of that edgy look. Oh my god, I love that. And it's not super fitting, it's loose fitting, so you could wear this with some jeans or some slacks. Just you could dress it up or dress it down really, really easy. So that's our shipment, and I'm really excited. I think a lot of these things go good together, and it's a lot of stuff that I can already incorporate with the things that are already in my closet, which is a huge plus whenever I'm um, shopping for things out of my uh, subscriptions. And um, yeah, I'm just super excited about all these styles. So let's give them a try and see how they fit. Okay, here is the first outfit. I absolutely love these leggings. They've got the flares at the end. I do a lot of yoga, so this is like perfect for yoga. But you could also use them for walking or running. The media pocket's right there in your lower back. So you could, it's not big enough for like a phone or anything, but maybe if you have a smaller phone it would be because it goes down pretty far. But like it's good for like um, your license or your house key or something like that. So that's nice that it's got that. And like I said, they're so amazingly comfortable. They fit me really well. This top is just an oversized top. You could wear it like this with some tights or um, leggings or something like that or you could just play around with it and you could even tie it behind you and do a look like that and you could put a tank underneath it if you didn't want to show your belly or you could take it and just crisscross it in the front and have a little tucked in moment look here with it and I like you could just play around with this shirt a whole lot it's really versatile like you can have just this casual oversized look. You could have a little sporty moment here. Or you could just feel a little sexy and do this and just kind of show off a little bit. But yeah, this is a really versatile top. It's a really um, light fabric, so you don't have to worry about getting too warm in it. But it does have this like oversized sleeve area so this is actually really nice I think I would probably wear it more like crisscrossed in the front or behind me like this with some jeans this would look really cute I've got some leather leggings that this would look really cute with you could really dress this up or dress it down so very versatile and I absolutely love versatility in my clothes so these are winners I love this one Okay, this top is even cuter on. You've got your ties right here, and you can tighten them up if you didn't want to show as much skin, or you can loosen them up if you wanted to show a little more. And it's fitted around the wrist, and it's just a really soft, like, cotton fabric. It's really, really comfortable. I really love it. And these pants, oh my God, they're adorable. I love these pants. They're a really lightweight material. The pattern and the colors are gorgeous. I love, love, love the combination of all the colors that they used. And this pattern, like I said, it's like a kind of between a, it's not really just a straight up floral pattern. It's kind of, kind of a paisley type of look to it. But there's no paisley in it. It's just kind of the way they um, did all the colors together and kind of placement and everything. It looks really really cute I love it and you could put like some little combat boots with this and have a really casual look or you could put some black heels with this and even dress it up like this again is very versatile I love that because I 
can be casual or dressy, just whatever I'm feeling that day. You could put this top with some joggers. You could put this top with some jeans. This, when it warms up, these will be really good pants even then with a little tank or crop top and some little sandals. Like, these are going to be able to be worn with many different things in many different seasons. So, these are absolutely great. They hit it out of the park again with this one. This dress is so comfortable. I love, love, love the sleeves, how they kind of have this bell sleeve, but it's got the elastic, so you don't have to worry about it being like too tight or too loose. It kind of just is really fitted to you. It's got this like V neckline, but like it's overlapping, so you don't have to worry about it being too wide or anything like that. And like I said before, it's just like a really light material. It's got kind of a lace overlay to it. So, but it's sewn together. So it's not two separate layers. It's just, it looks like it's two layers sewn together. You've got like a solid piece. You can kind of feel it if you pinch it and then like a sheer overlay to it. But I love this color. I love that I can put gold with this, silver with this, pink with this, white, like you can pair this with a bunch of different colors and get a bunch of different looks. You could put um, a vest with this if you wanted to get a different look to it, more of a boho look. You could put um, a denim jacket and still have the bell sleeves peeking out and a scarf and some boots and be able to wear it during the winter. And then this summer, it's really easy. Just put a little belt with it, or you could tie a scarf around your waist and put some cute sandals with it or some cute heels. Like, I guess the theme for this shipment this month is really versatility. Everything that we have gotten, you've been able to either dress up or dress down, wear multiple ways, get multiple styles out of it. Like, and that is a big key point for me when I'm looking for clothes. I'm like, how can I wear this? Can I dress this up? Can I dress this down? Like, can I wear this through different seasons? And everything that we've gotten, you can pretty much do that with. So I am super, super excited to incorporate these into my closet and wear them a bunch of different ways and show you guys and share that with you guys. So, all right, that completes our shipment. Um, oh, I also wanted to show you the bracelet that they sent us. Look how cute that is. It's just, it's so lightweight. Like I cannot even describe how lightweight it is. It's just so comfortable. It almost feels like it's not there, but like it looks like it has a lot of weight to it. So I really, really love that. It's got the hook clasp right here. So if you have a hard time like actually hooking um, and doing the like button clasp and everything, this one just as an actual hook that you just hook on to the little loops here. So it's really easy to put on. And like I said, I just love how it looks like it's got a weight, a lot of weight to it. But it's just light as a feather. So I absolutely love that. I'll be wearing that a whole lot. So anyways, yes, that is it for our shipment. Um, we're going to talk about um, our overall thoughts on everything. Although we've kind of already discussed that here. And then I'm going to be going over the little tips and tricks that have worked for me for getting my best Navy West experience. All right. So I think this is another excellent shipment. Like, I absolutely love everything I got. Like, it's going to be really hard to choose what I keep, but I love it all. So, anyways, let's talk prices. The black top the with the ties up the sleeve is $19.99. The gray top that I tied, you can tie behind my back or in front or you can just wear it loose is uh, $27.99. The um, black pants with the floral pattern are $29.99. And the athletic leggings are $29.99. The black dress was $34.99. And the bracelet was $17.99. So nothing over $35, which is an absolute plus. That is one of the things I absolutely love about Nadine West is I don't really have to ever worry about everything 
anything ever being super like pricey or anything. Their price range is absolutely great. It ranges from like $9.99 to I think the most expensive thing I've ever gotten was like $37, $38.99, something like that. Never anything over $40. I've never gotten anything over $40, which is really hard to come by, especially in today's economy. So if you're looking for a good um, subscription that's not going to break the bank, but you're still going to get really stylish clothes, then definitely try Nadine West out. And I'm just going to let you know, like, what I do and what I've done over the years that has helped me get the best experience out of my Nadine West subscriptions. Um, you've heard me say this before, but I've been getting Nadine West for, like, six, seven years now. And, um... It hasn't always been, you know, amazing because it is, I want you to look at it kind of like a relationship. No one can read your mind. No one knows. I mean, you're taking a person or a company or whatever and you're saying, hey, go buy clothes for me. You have to let them know what you like, what you don't like. Like, they're, as they're sending you things, let them know. Communication is absolutely my number one tip. And the best way you can do that is by reviewing absolutely everything that you get. And the way they do that, let me pull up my, the, the review for this one. Okay, when you log in, you're going to go to, it's going to take you to your just dashboard. And you're going to go to see purchases and shipment history. And then once that pops up, all your orders come up right there. And your most recent one's going to be at the top, and you're just going to click that. And that's going to take you to the page where you can actually give each item a five-star rating. And then it has a comment box. And in the comment box, I just don't, be, I'm not just like, oh, I hate it. Or, oh my gosh, I love this. I'm not really vague when it comes to that. I actually, see it has a little picture and it shows the price and the five-star rating in the comment. I actually say, like, I love this item. I love the color. I love the fit. I love that it's flare leg. I love that it has bell sleeves. I love the ties on it. Um, if something's just okay, I'm like, um, I'm really on the fence about this item because um, I don't really like the, um, I really don't like the color, but I love the style. If I don't like something, then I'm sure to say why I don't like it. Like, this color doesn't flatter me, or this is too oversized for me, or this is too fitted for me, or it's too low cut, or whatever the case may be. I don't like this fabric. I don't like the way it feels on my skin. Let them know in detail why you like something, why you don't, why you're on the fence about it. Let them know all the details and be really precise because, like I said, communication is absolute key. It's really important to treat this like you would any relationship. They're not going to know why you didn't like something or why you did like something unless you tell them. And if it can, you continue to get things that you don't like, um, email them. Like say, hey, um, I'm getting a lot of floral. Can you put a note on my account that I really don't like floral? Or do you, can you um, put into there that I don't like the color orange or whatever the case may be. If it continues to happen, email them, let them know. And also go back and check your style profile because there is a section where you can put that you don't want stripes, you don't want certain colors or whatever. It goes into a lot of detail like that. So go back and double check your style profile quiz and make sure that that's up to date as well. And I try to update that um, every six months to a year just because my style does change over time. And so I, I'm really sure to keep that updated. So um, speaking of the style quiz, I think it's really important to um, make sure that you have all of that up to date as well. And um, like I said, there was a couple of people that wanted to see how I have mindset because they really like the things that I get in my shipments. 
So I am going to go to that and show you. And how you do that is you go to back to your dashboard and you go to update personal update style profile and it will show. Okay, and how I have mine selected is on the top section, it says um, select all the styles that um, suit you. And it's classic, romantic, trendy, and vintage. I have all those checked because I'm, I, like I said, I just like, you know, I don't know what kind of mood I'm going to wake up in. So I like the vintage style. I like the romantic style. Um, I like to be trendy every once in a while. So I do change. And for my jewelry, it's going to ask you what style you like for that. I have all those checked as well. And for, um, it says, what do you typically wear? And it says stripes, animal print, florals, abstract, solids. I have everything checked but stripes. I'm not a big stripe person. And since I have that unchecked, I don't get stripes. I don't think I've ever gotten stripes. So make sure that you're keeping this updated. If you get a lot of animal print and you don't like animal print, make sure that it's in your style quiz that that is unchecked. And what colors do you typically not wear? So they want to know what colors you don't want. Of course, I'm open to all colors, so I don't have anything checked for that. And then it says, can you tell me anything more about your style? And here's where my little secret tip comes in. I have a Pinterest style board. And I go on Pinterest um, probably two or three times a month. And I just scroll different styles and I pin it to a style board. And where it's asking, is there anything else you can tell me about your style? I link my style board there. I'm like, hey, um, I have a style board with all those styles that I like. And then I put the link there for them to actually go to my style board and see what styles I'm wanting to put in my closet. So they can kind of look at that and just get a better visual. I'm not just describing it. I'm showing them what I like and what I'm wanting to add to my closet. And then it asks what your body type is, which is new to the style profile. Um, I'm somewhere between a hourglass and a, uh, an hourglass and a pear, but I'm more hourglass. So I do have to select that. And then it asks what your top size is, what your bottom size is. So if you're getting a lot of pants that are too big, go in and size down. If you're getting a lot of tops that are too small, go in and size up. Like keep this really, really updated because this is the foundation of what they're going to go off of with your shipments. Um, and ask if there's any areas that you want to conceal, your tummy, your chest, your back, your thighs, your upper arms. I'm really okay with anything, so uh, I don't have any of that checked. What are your favorite metals to wear? They have gold, silver, bronze, and other. I like them all, so I've got them all checked. And then how often do you want your shipments? You can do every two weeks or every four weeks. I like the every four week option. So that's what I have checked. So that is everything that I have checked on my, my style profile quiz. And it, like I said, it's just really important to keep going back to that, especially if you're getting like, if you get two or three shipments in a row and then you're like, oh, do they even get me? Go back to your style quiz profile and tweak it until you find the perfect fit that's for you. I can't tell you how many times I had to go in and kind of just move some stuff around until I started getting things that really coincided with my style. And like I said, I've had to email them a few times and I'm like, hey, I keep getting this and that's really not my style. Can you put a note in my account for that, for, you know, maybe to see less of that in my shipments. And now keep in mind, this is another little tip and trick. Really just some advice. You're going to get a few things that are not you. Try them on. I cannot even express to you how many times I have gotten something. I'm like, oh, this is hideous. This is not going to look good on me. And I put it on. And it's like one of my favorite things ever. Like ever, ever. Like a few shipments ago, I got a very oversized, long floral dress. I was like, ugh, I'm not going to like this. This is not my style. I'm not sure if this is going to fit me. It's going to swallow me. I paired it with a belt. And it's like the 
most perfect dress ever now. It's got that perfect little boho chic kind of look to it. I put a scarf with it and an oversized coat and some boots and I had like the most perfect outfit. So don't just throw something to the side because it looks like it's not going to look right on you or it looks like, oh my God, I would never pick this up because I love how they push my style comfort zone. Like they're sending you things that you wouldn't normally go into a store and pick up. And that can be a good thing. Try it on. You may be like, hey, this isn't normally something I would wear, but I really like this. And it can kind of give you that boost of confidence that you really, really want and need. So just keep an open mind going into it. And at the end of the day, kind of my last bit of advice I can give you, don't stress about it. You can send it back. You only pay for what you keep. You keep what you absolutely love and what you feel looks good on you. And then what you don't like, you just send back. You're not charged for it. So just keep communicating. Keep updating your profile. On the reviews, I also that at the very end, there's a big comment section. You can go into a little detail about how you overall loved the shipment or the vibe of it or whatever. And I also put my style uh, board Pinterest profile there. So I also have it in my style quiz um, comment section. And I have it in, I put it at the end of every review that I do because my next stylist may see it. So, uh, that's what I advice I can give y'all for getting the best Nadine West experience. Um, I, I'm not, there's that's still no 100% guarantee that you're going to love absolutely everything you get. Because like I said, no one can read your mind, but they do send you things to try. Like, try them out. You might actually like them. And if you don't, no worries. Just send it back. You're not charged for it unless you keep it. So, I hope that helped some of you um, and gave you a little more insight into how I kind of um, communicate with them and getting the best experience possible and getting the best items in my shipments. So, thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with me today and trying on some cute clothes and doing a little Nadine West talk. Um, if you have any questions, um, just leave me some comments and some questions down below and we'll talk about it and I'll try to help you out in the best way that I can. Um, I absolutely love getting my Nadine West subscriptions and I have for many years and I will continue to. So um, yeah, just let's have a conversation in the comments and if you don't mind, like and subscribe if you're not already and be sure to be following me over on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. I like to do a lot of get ready with me and just fun little reels and TikToks over there and it kind of show you how I style the different things that I get in my shipments. So yes, I hope that you all have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.